Oh, if I die, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, I died. Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. This is the Gaming Casual. In this episode, we will be making our way through Treasure Trove Cove. To remove pieces that you have already put down, press the down C buttons. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. And just like that, we've completed the puzzle. Treasure Trove Cove is uh, more than likely going to be the second course you go to in this game. And if we make our way down here, in this little uh, stairwell, there is a cauldron that you can activate. You activated a magic cauldron. Find the two same of the same color to create a shortcut. You will make, like he says, if you find two of the same color, you'll make a shortcut so you can jump into him and it'll teleport you to the other one that exists. So you don't have to you know, walk everywhere, or at least it cuts a little bit of time. And in order to get to Treasure Trove Cove, we have to go up to this way. Just go over this little ravine here, or waterfall, down here. And just like that, we are in the area where the entrance to Treasure Trove Cove is. It's inside of a treasure chest. So, it's a fitting, you know, entry point. All right. Ahoy there. This be Treasure Trove Cove. There be two new moves for you to find. So, in this level, like you said, we'll be learning two new moves. I think, I can't remember what, and one of them is flying. And the other one is something else. I can't say I remember. Let's see if I can uh, <laughs> get that Jinjo without dying. Does he ever go away? Go away, mister. What an annoying shark. I'm just trying to save my Jinjo friend there and he won't let me. Okay, let's try this again. Swimming is kind of hard in this game. Uh, come on, just touch him. There we go. Get out of the water. Just when you thought it was safe to get back in the water. It wasn't. There's a mean old shark in there. I think I can take on this guy now. So let's try. Hey, this Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, crustacean brain. Grr, cheeky bird need feathers clipping. Oh yeah, just try it. Shell, shell head? No, oh, that's what he said. Okay, so you're supposed to smack him in the eyes. Peck his eyes, rather. Ah, you hurt nipper, makes me mad. And just try not to get nipped by his claws. In order to do that attack, you have to jump and push B while you're running. Good thing he doesn't like chase you. Whoa. Take that big mouth bird. Okay. It's a little bit more difficult. But nothing we can't handle. And I believe inside of his shell is a, a jiggy. I like how the notes make a little bit of a music when you hit touch them. Whoa, that thing almost got me. Every time you kill an enemy, it will uh, give you health. So, if you're low on health, you can kill an enemy for some health. The first Jiggy of the level. So, Nipper's not too not too hard to defeat. I remember when I was a uh, you know, probably like seven years old or whatever and I played this game. I don't remember. I helped my friend beat that guy. 
because he wasn't sure how to do it. And that's kind of how you learn how to beat games back then. You either found somebody who knew how to do it already, if you were really having struggles, and they'd show you how. We, I'm a grandfather. I helped Kazooie. Fly when she knows how. Oh yeah, so we do learn how to fly, and I guess we learn how to do this jump. Shock jump disc. I don't know where that is at, but... We'll find it eventually. I think it's at the top of this level, actually. Flying... The flying... Move you learn up here. So let's talk to old bottles here. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time to for you to fly. At last, it's better be an easy bug eyes. Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Oh, thanks, bottles. Whoa, I don't want to go. I don't really need to take off to the skies just yet. Because there's still some stuff I need to do here. Like collect these notes and go talk to this fat tabellard. Ahoy there, I'm Captain Blubber, and I lost me treasure when me ship crashed. Well, go find it then, Blubber Guts. Arr, but I can't swim. Can you help an old sea hippo? Oh, sure, we'll find it for you. Okay. So, all you have to do is go into the boat and look for his treasure. They look like little gold bars. There's other things inside this uh, ship that you can collect as well, such as these notes. And the mumbo tokens that are scattered throughout the worlds. Not every world has a mumbo um, hot hut in it. Everything talks in this game. Yeah, but yeah, every not every world has a mumbo, mumbo hut, so this level does not have a mumbo hut. I think it's like every other world. There's a mumbo hut, and there's like 10 worlds in this game. If I am thinking clearly. I don't know if this hatch here will lead me into the same spot that I just was. Nope. Some more treasure and some golden notes. Hopefully you guys like the overlay I made for this. I've been experimenting with different overlays. I had just finished the my Super Mario 64 Let's Play. So if any of you are here watching me and didn't realize I had a Super Mario 64 Let's Play on my channel, feel free to go check that out. But I've been trying to take more time in uh, creating the overlays and trying to add to the production value of my videos. I don't know if it helps at all, but we'll find out if people appreciate it or not. Because they'll say something about it if they do. Me treasure, thank ye, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, spend, spend. He's gonna go to the stripper. I know it. That's what sailors do. They get to port and they just go hog wild at the, the strip clubs. I, I, I could imagine. <laughs> I, I've never done it myself. But, I mean, spend years, maybe months at sea. I don't know. Maybe that's inappropriate. All right, let's uh, keep looking for uh, jiggies. Oh, there's jiggies up in the trees. Not jiggies, notes. I'm... 
I didn't rehearse this level, so I'm still, I'm kind of like going off a of memory. Oh, what's this? This must be the new move I get to learn. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are too tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. Nice going, you've learned all the co Cove's new moves. So yeah, like you said, you just stand on here and jump. Oh, there's a mumbo token right there. Let's grab that. I don't know how many mumbo tokens there are, and I know I am trying to 100% the game, but maybe 100% might not be the technical definition. I will definitely get all the uh, notes and jiggies and uh, the life enhancements, but there I don't know how many mumbo tokens are in this game, and so... I can't really say, I can't really technically say it's a 100% run if I'm not going to get all the tokens because I don't really know how many they are and you definitely don't need them all. You can't kill these enemies, they just open and close their mouths. So, some of them have uh, items in it though, as you saw that there was uh, eggs in there. Is there anything at the bottom of that? Like a... Yeah. Let's swim down there. Whoa. That thing came at me pretty quickly. Oh, for, for a second there, I thought I lost Kazooie. I kind of find it funny. This game is called Banjo-Kazooie, but Kazooie does a lot of the work. I mean, she's the one who does a talent trot. She's the one who lets you fly. She's the one who does a spring jump. I mean, I guess Banjo is a good tank, like almost like a like an armor for her. But I think this game should be called Kazooie Banjo, if anything. I don't know. All right, let's get up here. I don't know what I'm doing with this controller. I miss the C buttons because this joystick, you know, it's really easy to hit like too many buttons at once because each direction on the joystick is uh, a button. And I'm not trying to look. I'm trying to turn the camera angle. Come on. Just got to touch him. All right. Two more Jinjos to go. Is there anything down in this water here? Probably. Oh, there's a jiggy down here. What do you know? Wasn't expecting the jiggy. I was just ma thinking maybe there was another mumbo token or something. There's some mumbo tokens. Oh. Jumped too close to his mouth and hit his teeth. All right, got out of his mouth just in time. Stop doing that. Stop. Seriously. I keep trying. I keep looking at the uh, Nintendo Store page for um, a Nintendo 64 uh, classic controller. I don't know what you call it, but they have a like a. Uh, they made an, an, a new N64 controllers for the uh, Switch, but they keep. Every time I look, they're always out of stock, so... <sighs> it's been no luck getting one. I really want to get one to make uh, playing these games a little easier, but... I have to deal with the supply issue. No! Get out of there! Oh, <laughs> okay. I jumped up there after he bit me. I don't think I need to be down here for anything. Do I? I feel like there's something important. Ah, huh, there is a jiggy. Somewhere in the water, there's one of those empty hu the honeycomb pieces. 
I don't know where it is exactly, though. This time I'm actually trying to look. I don't know if it's down there. It's in the water somewhere in this level. Just don't remember where. We'll keep an eye out for it, though. Because it's definitely going to be in a spot that's hard to get to. Get back up there. I don't need that shark to come and bite me. No! Coffee and mint. I'm not reading what he says. It's, it speaks too quickly. I like how the music just goes. It sounds like Jaws. They did a good job with that. I mean, they didn't have to do that. Can I kill this guy? He's eating my stuff. I don't think I can kill this guy. Oh, I can. I wasn't sure if his hard shell made it impossible to kill him. Looks like there's just red feathers in there, so... I'll go in there. I think you can only hold 50 red feathers at the beginning. Eventually you can hold more eggs, more red feathers, more items. But as for now, you only get what you get. Darn it. This might be an unpopular opinion, but not probably not really. I actually don't like Banjo-Tooie. And I actually like Banjo Nuts and Bolts more than I like Banjo-Tooie. Because... I don't know. I feel like Banjo... Even though Banjo Nuts and Bolts probably wasn't the Banjo game everybody was looking forward to or wanted, it was definitely a good game. I mean... They probably didn't need to make it a Banjo game, but... I guess probably that was the only way they could get people to buy it. By using a familiar character. But other than that, the fact that it was not, like, true to what people assume Banjo games should be, it was fun. I liked building my own contraptions and stuff. So there's gonna be X's that you need ground pound. To fly higher, you need some red feathers. Press A to use one. But remember, that beaky can only carry 50 of them. I think this thing is timed. So... Not 100% sure. You need to smash these X's. There's one. Flying isn't as fun in this game as in Mario, or Super Mario 64. Because you don't go as fast. And I liked the, the rush of flying in Super Mario 64. But, I mean, at least they let you fly in this game. I mean, it probably wouldn't be... You know very fun to have wings but not actually get to fly but not all birds fly Kazooie barely is able to fly now there's a little exclamation mark or not exclamation mark but a question mark I want to get these I hear that Jinjo crying for my help or crying for help but I don't know where he is at this moment and I want to get these Jiggy, or er, keep calling them jiggies, these notes. Can I get it? Okay. And the final X is down here. X marks the spot. Okay, X marks the spot. What, the, what do I do? Okay, just peck it open and. There you go. Five of ten jiggies. Hey, there's a mumbo token over there grab that thing. I barely touched the water and that guy's after me already. Okay, where's that guy at? I hear you, Mr. Jinjo, but I don't see you. Oh, there he is. Let's go get her. Can I jump it? I can. Jump again. Wee. 
Okay, where should I go to now? There's some notes over there, so I should probably get those. No. I wasn't even able to see where I was jumping to. Fly! Jump. Nope. I'm not good at platforming. Which is unfortunate, because I like platform games. I'm just not so good. Well, it's not completely true. These old games just have very difficult cameras to deal with. Can I get over there? For a second there, I wasn't sure if my jump would make, be long enough to make it. And I forgot you could do that when you're spring jumping. So down here is Paley. Or Leaky, I guess. Me Leaky, no good for water, but can hold bear block. Blah. I didn't even read that. So you want to poop inside of this pail and somehow it patches him. I don't know how pooping eggs into a bucket <laughs> uh, patches the leak inside, but I'm not going to question it. Who am I to question such logic? Get these notes. And here is uh, where you can put cheat codes. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. I actually don't remember how to play this. I would say that maybe I have to type in Banjo-Kazooie. But, um... I don't know. We can see. B. Oops. A. Banjo. Banjo. That looks like a J. At least it gives you plenty of time. You just have to find the letters. And they're strung about in an un, uh, you know, unsensical order. Where did I see that Z? I've seen it somewhere. Oh. If you hit the wrong button, I think something bad happens to you. So let's not do that. And voila! The gate opens to reveal your prize. But first, I'll cut you down to size. You must be one of your Gruntilla's minions, because you're rhyming like she does. Oh no! He's gonna kill me. The prize was we let him free from his prison. Pretty sure he was in there for a reason. I don't know if what he did to be in jail deserved him to get murdered, but you know what? He said he was going to cut me. And that's fighting words. I was well within my right to defend my life. So, he did. Alright, what am I looking for now? We still have... Let's take a look. Four more uh, jiggies. 13 more notes, and two of those little honeycombs to find. And I'm having trouble... I'm drawing a blank as to where those honeycombs are. I think one is around here. Somewhere. I just don't... I just don't know. And that guy's gonna get me. Don't bite me, Mr. Shark. No! Stay away. Stay away from me, guy. I know I'm a tasty snack to you. But I'm very chewy. And, uh... <laughs> no, that was bad. That was a bad joke. Is it down there? There, there, there it is. It's down there. 
Why is it down there? You may ask. Because this level is not good. I'm going to die in here. If I die in here, then that will be horrible because then I'll have to collect all the notes again. And I do not want to do that. And I don't think you guys want to watch me do that. There's four notes here. Oops. Come on. I think the rest of the notes are at the top of this level. So let's fly to the top of this level. And uh, get the notes that we get and can get up there. You know what? I didn't even go to the top of the... Oh, yes, I did. I came... I went over there, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What's inside of you, mister? There's a jiggy in there. All right. I kind of figured eventually there'd be a jiggy one there. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still the game will be. Yeah, yeah. Why do you have all this gold? You have all this gold and you still need to kidnap my sister. People can't be happy with what they have. They always need more and more and more. It's a shame. I don't like the noise she makes when you're walking in that form. Even though it's faster to walk like that, it's actually more annoying to walk like that. And maybe they did that on purpose. So people like me who don't like the sound of Kazooie's grunts wouldn't use her power to just speed run this game. Okay. It's nice and quiet up here. There's not even music. Maybe it's a little too quiet. Am I missing anything? Oh, there's a Jinjo right there. Okay. Should be able to get him. That's all the Jinjos. So we need two more Jiggies. And I can't say I know where the last two are. Well, one is on the very top of this. But I don't know where the other one is. So... That could be an issue. I don't think... You don't get a Jiggy for collecting all the notes. And I don't think you get another Jiggy for helping Blubber. I don't know if there's a Jiggy inside that ship somewhere. Hmm. Here's a switch to activate. It's probably a good thing I'm... kind of like... Well, not a good thing that I'm lost. It's just a... It's a good thing I... Don't post the Banjo Kazooie episodes every day, because they're pretty long. And I like to give people time enough to watch them. Alright, so we got all the notes. We got all the... everything else. We just need that final uh, jiggy, which I don't know where it is. And we need to get the other honeycomb, which I also do not know where it is. So, maybe a wise thing to do would be to pause the video. At least the recording. Oh my gosh. Go away. All right. Um... So, I figured out where I need to go. And, uh, I spent a little bit of time exploring. Don't die. 
I didn't get any health while I was exploring though, so just to keep it authentic. The, that is the honeycomb piece I was looking for. And I did find, uh, or when I was exploring, I saw another mumbo token over yonder behind uh, that uh, that shell over there. I don't know, the hermit crab shell. So we got that one. And then the final jiggies like inside like a like a mountain cave. It's not really a cave, but it's like in the mountain here. So just gotta find how to get up there. I believe there's like uh you have to use the uh spring jumps to get over there. Just over there. So it's Use these to get up there. I mean, you probably could just fly over there, but I didn't see it when I was flying earlier. Well, earlier when you saw me flying. And voila. Next time I'll have to rehearse the level before I do it. That way I know what I'm doing and I'm not wasting time here so please forgive me for that all right let's move let's get out of this place and get that other uh jiggy that we saw shoot out of the cannon and then we can end that episode i don't know what the next level is called Wow, your best note score for this world is now 100. Oh, if I die, I'm going to be upset. Oh, I died. <laughs> well, at least I'm just right there. That guy's gonna touch me. Don't touch me, mister. All right. Well, that should do it for this episode. If you liked what you saw, push the like button. If you have something to say, leave a comment. This has been the Gaming Casual, and thanks for watching my Banjo Let's Play. Have a great day.